I'm James Johnson, and you're watching Niagara Pro Tips. Hello, and welcome back to Niagara Pro Tips. This is the third part in the series on schedule relations. If you haven't watched the first two videos, I'd suggest you go back and take a look at those first. In the first video, I try to go through and explain about using smart tags and relations uh, to set up a relation between schedules and control points uh, which are linked to the schedule. So for example, uh, with this PX view, I'm showing a device under a lawn network that has an occupancy point and the occupancy point is somehow linked to this first floor weekly schedule. The implied relation with the smart tag rule will go through and create an implied relation such as this, which is the B colon schedule ref relation. And that relation allowed us to more easily display things in PX uh, and in hierarchies to uh, show the equipment that was being controlled physically by the schedule. And also covered how uh, exported schedules from the Niagara network and the supervisor and imported into a J station, how we could identify those, leveraging some smart tags uh, from the Bicom Pro module. Now, in this video, I want to focus on BACnet schedule exports because BACnet schedule exports are similar to the Niagara schedule exports, but it's a little different than where we might have a, a, an actual schedule linked to a control point. In this case, we have a, a BACnet device and that BACnet device has a schedule device extension and then there's a uh, schedule export underneath that. And looking at that in the nav tree here, we can see under the drivers and the BACnet network, Air Handler 99, there's a schedule device extension and this is the exported schedule. So looking at the schedule device extension here under Air Handler 99, we can see that I'm exporting this schedule, uh, which is from the home folder here under the schedules folder, there's this global Boolean weekly schedule, and that's being exported from the station to the BACnet device to this schedule object. And so we need to probably put some smart tags on both this uh, weekly schedule as well as this uh, scheduled device extension. So the first thing we want to do is uh, define some uh, tags that we can use here. So going over to my building dictionary in the JSTATION. station, I'll uh, expand the tag definitions here and using the tag dictionary I'll just drag in a string tag here to just define a tag so someone knows that it exists and in this case I'm going to call the, the tag ID uh, back sched export and we'll do the same thing create another tag here and in this case I'm going to call it back uh, sched ord now uh, I already have the schedule import and schedule export tag definitions here from the previous video and I could potentially use those as well. I'm just using two different names here to try to clarify things specifically for the BACnet schedule exports. Uh, but you could try to use this, those same tags as we were using for the Niagara exports as well. And looking at the tag rules then, I have this weekly schedule here uh, which is have has tags applied to it using this tag rule which is looking for anything with the end colon schedule marker tag where the name ends in weekly and we're already applying a weekly schedule marker tag as well as that B format tag uh, with the schedule import which is storing some information about the uh, parent device for the schedule import and the supervisor ID that's covered in that second video so I'm going to use the Bicom Pro module and under the tags folder I'm going to drag in a format tag to the tag list here and in this case I'm going to call this my uh, BAC sketch export tag and for this one uh, we can probably keep it pretty simple here and I'm just going to use uh, slot path percent slot path percent as the B format syntax so taking a look at tags on the Boolean schedule, you can see that there's this, now there's a B colon back sched export tag, and it has the slot path to the global Boolean weekly schedule here that's in the station. Now, taking a look at the AX slot sheet of the schedule device extension, I can see that 
this weekly schedule export object is comes from the BACnet module and it's a BACnet schedule export. So the tag rule we need to create is to assign tags to that a BACnet schedule export. So going into the tag dictionary uh, and then using the rules folder, uh, I will get an is type rule here and drag it out. And we can say this is BACnet schedule export tags. So for this tag rule then, under the condition, it's going to be a, a type condition with a type spec selector. I can pick the BACnet module and then look for BACnet schedule export uh, types is what we want to assign this tag rule to. Then going back to my Bicom Pro palette, I can select the format tag and drop this onto the tag list. Now in this case, I'm gonna assign the tag ID back sched ord to the schedule uh, export component. And in this case, looking at that schedule export to the property sheet here, we can see it. There's a supervisor ord property which stores the ord to the schedule that's being exported from the station to the BACnet device. Now, one key thing to note here is that that ord actually includes the station colon pipe uh, scheme there, where the slot path of the schedule itself only started with slot colon. So on this, uh, on this tag here with the B format, we can use the supervisor ord property uh, to assign that tag to the weekly schedule component here. And when I look at that uh, tag here, we'll see the back sched or tag, but it includes that leading station colon pipe. Now, I'd like to get rid of that so that when I compare those two tag values, they'll be equal and I don't have to deal with uh, this uh, extra syntax here to start with. So what I'm going to do in that case is using B format, we can call a substring function here and it's substring and then in parentheses the number of characters that we want to go into the string and start from there. So I'm going to start at the ninth character which is going to uh, remove uh, the station colon pipe from that tag value. So now when I look at the tags again and look at the implied tags here we'll see that that tag value now starts with slot colon instead of station colon pipe. I could uh, certainly go ahead and update the hierarchy in the J station uh, right now, but I think what I want to do in this case is we're, I'm going to move to the supervisor uh, to the system DB service here and talk a little bit about uh, some changes that I need to make here. So this is in the supervisor under the services and the system DB service. And under the system index service, we have that Niagara network indexer. And under the Niagara Network Indexer, we have the Global Niagara Network Indexer, and we have these default index queries. And these basically look for uh, drivers, uh, device folders, devices, point folders, uh, points, uh, and anything uh, schedules, and anything with a PX view on it. Now, in the J station, I need to uh, index the schedule device extension and also the schedule export because the schedule export is what has the uh, tag value on it and we need to know about these two objects in the system database in order to be able to show this air handling device in the hierarchy in the supervisor. So what I've done is using the custom index queries here you click the plus button and then you can use the BQL query builder and I can set the scope here to be maybe the driver's section at least, choose custom type, and then the BACnet module, BACnet module, and then a BACnet schedule uh, device extension, uh, schedule a device extension, or a BACnet schedule export. I would need to add one for each of those, obviously. And so you'll see that once I hit OK there, it adds an item into the BORD list here. Now, this is a, a duplicate of this item, so I'll go ahead and hit the minus to remove that. But I needed to tell the uh, SystemDB global, the global Niagara network indexer uh, to index these two types of objects in the remote station. Once I do that, I can go ahead and execute the 
uh, Global Micro Network Indexer. Now, while this is running, I'll go ahead and pause the video and resume once it finishes. Okay, so that's finished now. And uh, that's indexed those tags uh, and those objects from the remote J station now. In addition to the, everything that was indexed before, it's picking up the schedule device extension and the BACnet schedule export. And so uh, taking a look at my hierarchies in my supervisor. So this is under my uh, supervisor under the hierarchy service here. Have my schedule hierarchy, which I'd set up in one of the previous videos. And in this case, just a quick review of this, we're using a group level def here called stations, which is looking for the end colon station tag. And that's finding all the uh, uh, instances of end colon station tag in the system database. Then we're looking for anything that has that weekly schedule marker tag on it, which will include those schedules in the remote J station. And then we're looking for anything that has an HS equip marker tag. Uh, with a parent device relation coming from a control point that has a schedule ref relation, which is coming from a schedule that has an HSID tag, where the tag value matches the SCED ID, which is the variable that's stored in the query context. So that was uh, finding any of these devices that have this uh, parent device relation inbound from a control point, which also has an inbound schedule ref relation, where that schedule has an HSID tag that's, again, equals the value uh, that's stored in the query context. So as far as the BACnet device goes, then it's a little bit different. We're starting off with the BACnet device, which has that HS equip marker tag on it, you know, as well as potentially others. And it has an end colon parent relation that's inbound from the schedule device extension. Then the schedule device extension has an inbound and colon parent relation from that schedule export object. And once we get to the schedule export object, we'll be able to check the value of the back sched ord tag to see if it matches the back sched export tag on the Boolean schedule. So going back over to the hierarchy here then. My query predicate, I'll put a open parentheses to create a grouping and then say or and I'll check for an end colon parent relation inbound from the schedule device extension and an end colon parent uh, relation inbound from the schedule export. And then the schedule export has the B colon B back uh, sched ord tag value on it. Now, my query context right now is only storing the HSID tag value, so I need to edit my uh, query context here, and I'll uh, add uh, a new key in here. In this case, I'll call it maybe back uh, sched exp, and it's going to be the b colon back sched export tag is the tag value that we want to store as the variable in the query context. So down here in my query predicate then I can say equals use the curly brace and refer to the variable which is back sched exp close the curly brace and then closing parentheses around this or statement. So I want to check for having an HS equip marker tag and then either one of these two uh, relation checks to end up in a tag value that matches something in the query context. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the hierarchy here then. If I refresh this because I've made changes to my hierarchy and maybe I haven't, I've already expanded it. So check my schedules hierarchy, my green briar J station and then here's my global Boolean weekly schedule. And when I click that to expand, now it shows me Air Handler 99 because Air Handler 99 has the HS equip marker tag on it, has an inbound parent relation from the schedule device extension, which has an inbound parent relation from the BACnet schedule export. And that BACnet schedule export has the BACnet schedule or value tag on it. And the value of that tag matches the the query context variable here, which is storing the back sched export tag from the schedule. Even though there's no links, we're using those tags together to try to um, identify and group those together under the hierarchies here. 
So hopefully that makes uh, sense to you and you can see where it has some practical applications in your own projects. I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos on schedule relations and stay tuned for more Niagara Pro Tip videos.